Time now 10:23 On Saturday, it'll be a homecoming for former NBA player Vin Baker in Old Saybrook. He'll be hosting the second annual The Addiction Ends Here 5K. He's joining us this morning. Vin, this is a problem that hits close to home for mm -hmm. you. It is something you still are in recovery with. Tell us a little bit about your struggle, how you overcame it. So just, you know, obviously uh, a well-documented story about run, going through an addiction in my own personal life, you know, reaching the pinnacle of my career, an NBA All-Star, All-NBA Olympian. Um, and then struggling with addiction. And then, you know, after eight and a half years of sobriety, um, you know, my passion now has become helping, providing hope for those that are going through uh, the same issues that I went through. You know, I'm competitive and, you know, as being athletes, um, there's a part of us that wants to win. And for me, it's uh, at this point in my life, my passion and, and competitive nature and everything that I've gone through, it's, it's about helping others win the day and um, achieve recovery. And um, so I'm using this platform and this redemptive story to help others overcome their struggles. You talk about helping others. If there's folks who are sitting at home and maybe they think they might be dealing with something like this, they think maybe it's a problem for them, what would you say to them? How did you know when it was time for you, when you really needed help? Well, one of the statistics is that one in every three Americans deals knows someone uh, who's struggling with addiction. So it's, it's very close to home to to all of us and I think recognizing it and understanding it took me a long time to recognize and understand that I had an issue with alcoholism and so uh, understanding recognizing identifying what your tr what the problems are and if you have a problem is the start and then uh, for my part is to provide hope and that's what we're doing with the 5k um, with the recovery center coming up here soon in the next eight months is providing hope so family members al -Anon members people who are going through identifying people who may be having those struggles, which is, again, it's one in three uh, Americans that know someone with that a problem or have it themselves. Certainly something that, that hits close to home for a lot of people. So this weekend, you're saying really it's open to everybody because, you know, we all know somebody or we all can think of someone in our lives. So adults, children, everybody's welcome? Everyone's welcome. So you can register at vinbaker.com or you can come Saturday morning at 7 a.m. to register and and walk if you're walking on your own behalf or walking on the behalf of someone else in your family or a loved one or a friend. But coming out to walk and support those people who are going through this is a big part of uh, what we're trying to do is providing hope and, and touching those loved ones that could have that issue. We want to get pe as many people recovered and in recovery and, and having enjoying a life of sobriety as we can. So speak specifically to where the proceeds for this event go. So we're working on a, a the proceeds will go to a, an addiction center that we're working on with a group called Recovery Unplugged. Um, we're working with Project Courage, a group in Old Saybrook and my hometown. And so uh, hopefully we will have a facility up in the next eight to 12 months that we can actually have people come in and I can be there and and provide this hope on a day-to-day -day basis and get people sober. All right, well, let's just give people the nuts and bolts of that event. Uh, what time does it start? Where is it? 7 a.m. registration, 9 a.m. the run and walk begins. And so we have stuff, as you saw, for kids as well from 7.30 to, to 8.30. So it'll be a lot of fun for family and friends to come. and. Again, it's for a great cause. All right, and we'll have all that information posted at fox61.com. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you for having Certainly me. Certainly an important cause. Thank you.